Torah portion, Yitro, the children of Israel received the Aserah Kadibro, the Ten Commandments. But how do they hear the Ten Utterances? Imagine for a moment the scene at Mount Sinai. There were upwards of, oh, probably 600,000 people. There were countless animals graying. There was bleeding. There was buying. Babies were crying. Mothers were shushing their children. Children were doing what they probably always have done, which is running around, screaming and laughing and shouting. And then, let's not forget the heavenly noises, the crashing of the thunder, the lightning, the horns that were blaring. I'm wondering how on earth anyone could have heard anything. And the second question, if, as our rabbis tell us, we were all standing at Sinai, and if the Torah is continually and always being given to all of us at every time, why is the experience at Sinai so important? Eliyahu Kitov, who's an Orthodox Israeli commentator, says that the everyday noise of our lives, and I want you to think traffic, dogs barking, people shouting and laughing, machinery whirring, all of that keeps us from being able to hear God's voice. But at Sinai, God was able to quiet all the noise so every single person could hear the 10 utterances. I think that if God could do that for the children of Israel in the wilderness, Surely, God can do that for us here, today, even in Chicago. But I believe that we have to work in partnership with God. We have to learn to quiet all the inner and the outer noise that keeps us from being able to hear God. Some people retreat to the mountains, some go to the ocean, trying to hear God's voice, trying to quiet all those outside noises. But we can do it in our daily lives, yes, even here in Chicago by consciously focusing on what was said at Sinai. Because every time we study Torah, we're standing at Sinai. And by living the values that were given to us, that were set before us in the Aserat Hadibro, we can hear God's voice every day. Can you hear it?